¿Qué tal? Bienvenidos a Canadá Latin Channel, información en tu idioma. El día de hoy tenemos una entrevista eh, con el ministro de Educación eh, Profesional, eh, Demetrios Nicolaitis, que nos va, nos va a hablar acerca de lo que está ocurriendo en, eh, en este nivel, en, los, en el nivel profesional de educación. Sabemos que terminamos la pandemia, sin embargo, pues parece que hay rezago, pero ahorita vamos a platicar con él para que nos explique exactamente qué es lo que hay detrás de pues, estos nuevos programas que se van a implementar. Por lo pronto, quiero darle la bienvenida a, a el ministro Demetrius Nicolaitis. Minister, thanks for being here in Canada Latin China. Welcome back. Of course, yeah, thanks for having me. Happy to be here. Thanks, Minister. Um, as I said, we have we had a pandemic two years in education. It was uh, online classes. I mean, don't stop at all. But uh, people need to interact with each other, socialize in person, right? So, what's going on in your area about education? And, and what's, if, if you have a program specific to improve these kind of uh, new rules, I don't know. Yeah, sure. Uh, I, I'd be happy to talk a little bit about that. You know, in, uh, in my portfolio in, in advanced education, I work with all of our universities, uh, colleges and uh, polytechnic institutions. And as you've said, it's been a very difficult time for all of them. It's been now two years that We've been working through the pandemic, and like you said, for a lot, a lot of our universities uh, and colleges, it's meant a lot of online learning, uh, which is not easy. It's not easy for our students. It's not easy for post-secondary institutions. Uh, but with um, with uh, COVID where it is today, we were seeing the COVID numbers coming down, the case numbers, the hospital numbers coming down. And so many of our post-secondary institutions are now moving back to in-person uh, delivery without uh, complicated COVID-19 measures and protocols. So I'm very confident that we'll be able to return and stay in person uh, for, for the very foreseeable future here. Minister, uh, we talked before about uh, avoid red tape in some, some uh, specific things about education. What exactly does this mean and how this can improve Uh, this sector of the professional education. Yeah, well, I think there's there's a lot of areas where where we can focus on on improving the sector. You know, one of the areas where I've put uh, a lot of attention has been towards improving the connection between education and and job outcomes and careers, so that we can ensure that when an individual is completing their program that they have uh, great prospects to find a successful job after they graduate. So we've been working very carefully with all of our universities and colleges to uh, give our students more access to work experience as a part of their program so that when they graduate, they have the experience that they need to, to be able to go and find strong and successful careers. So that's been uh, one of the, the key focuses of the ministry and of the work that we've been doing in the department for the last few years. Minister, uh, we have a lot of uh, immigrant viewers and students outside of Canada. And this is a good sector. I mean, um, students, uh, students from Latin America, they, they want to come to Canada to study, specifically here in Alberta because, you know, Here is, uh, we have um, professional universities. It's uh, uh, the level of education we have. It's one of the best in Canada. So um, if somebody wants to come here to Canada, do you have a, a, spe a, a special program or a specific program for immigrants or, who, or for um, students who are outside of Canada? Or how, you, how the government support them? Yeah, absolutely. The, as you may know, the, the government of Canada has a, a study permit as a visa application uh, for uh, people who want to come and, and uh, study and spend some time studying in Canada. Uh, and uh, there's more information about that process can be found on the government of Canada's um, website. And, you know, you, you are right. Uh, a lot of students from around the world look at Canada And, and, and want to come and study uh, in Canada. And I think one of the things that I would say and encourage 
uh, anyone who's who's listening and watching is to take a look at Alberta. Uh, Alberta ha is home to many incredible post-secondary institutions. Many of our universities and colleges are uh, ranked very high across the country and on the international scene. Uh, but oftentimes, I think Alberta is not looked at as a as a top destination. I, I know a lot of international students look at Toronto, Ontario, British Columbia, and other provinces. So I guess my my message would be to look very carefully. Uh, Alberta it has uh, a lower cost of living than than many of these other provinces, but we still have uh, incredible world. Uh, ranked post-secondary institutions, uh, and, uh, and so I, I would encourage everyone to take uh, take a strong look at what Alberta has to offer. Minister, last question I have. This is another kind of uh, topic. Um, how bad was the impact of COVID in uh, this sector in the post-secondary? I mean, uh, uh, I'm, I'm talking about uh, economy and study. How bad was this impact, and and uh, how and how do you want to do to uh, to take out of this um, bad impact? Yeah, I, I think it was um, a very difficult time for everybody in the post secondary system. For our university presidents, it was very difficult for them. Uh, they they had to overnight switch and operate everything online and then try and come back in person and go back online again. So it's been very difficult for the, the staff, the people that work at our universities. But of course, it's also been very difficult for our students because uh, they're missing out on the academic experience. They're missing out from the opportunity to be in person with their classmates, with their professors, But of course, they're also missing out on the opportunity to uh, to have social interactions with their fellow students. Uh, an important part of university life and college life is about the social aspect, the clubs, the events, the activities, and all of that has not been able to happen because because of COVID. So it's been it's been very challenging uh, and very difficult. Again, today. Uh, there's there's very strong signs that uh, that we're moving forward with COVID. Of course, the government of Alberta has removed almost all of the COVID-19 restrictions that are in place. So at our universities and colleges, many students are are back on campus in person and starting to to recover a lot of that that lost time. So uh, I'm really excited about the future. I'm excited that our students are able to get back on campus, to see each other again, to, uh, to, to be in class with their professors and to, to interact with, with their friends and colleagues. I think that's so important and I'm so excited that, that we're at that stage today. Awesome. Minister, I want to say thanks for uh, being here in Canada Latin Channel again. I don't know if you, if you have something to add. Uh, no, nothing more to add. Thank you again for the invitation and I'm happy to join you again in the future. Awesome. Minister, I want to say thanks again. And uh, yeah, I would uh, look forward to have another interview with you. Have a good day. Absolutely. Thanks so much. All the best to you. Thank you. Bueno, a mí no me queda más que agradecer el favor de su atención. Gracias por estar aquí, por seguirnos en nuestras redes sociales y por ser parte de esta plataforma digital. Yo lo veo en un nuevo video y pues le recomiendo que comparta este contenido y también que pues se mantenga se mantenga en nuestras redes sociales en Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube le dé like, nos siga para que usted no se pierda pues, ninguna noticia, ninguna información que nosotros aquí le ofrecemos mi nombre es Héctor Chaparro, nos vemos en otro video, hasta entonces